G'day everyone, Riley from RD Auto Electrics and welcome back to the channel. Also welcome to our first video for 2023. We had so much interest in our last video where we showed you through our 400 amp hour off grid dream lithium power system that we decided to show you through uh, another caravan running the same power system so we can run into a little bit more detail uh, and answer some of the questions that we had uh, regarding the last video. So let's jump in, we'll have a quick look through the system and then we'll run through some of your questions. Alrighty, so in this van here, the complete power system is located under the L-shaped lounge, which is a great location that keeps all the weight over the wheel arches. So as you'll see there, we've got our Enerdrive 2600 watt inverter. We've got our two 200 amp hour BTEC lithium batteries, our complete Cymarine battery monitoring and water tank level monitoring system, our 40 amp DC to DC charger, a 40 amp solar reg, all our fuse kits and everything all labelled up under there and tucked in at the back there we've got our Enerdrive 60 amp AC mains power charger. So that's the complete system there guys and as we mentioned this is one of our signature systems uh, and this one's called our 400 amp hour off-grid dream lithium power system. This package also includes the complete Cymarine uh, battery monitoring system which allows you to monitor the battery state of charge, of the run time remaining, uh, your current amps in and out of your battery and this will also do our water tank monitoring as well. And up in the top cupboard here we've also got our remote switch for the on off uh, for our inverter as well. So everything's in a neat, tidy, easy to access location. As you'll see, this system's all neatly mounted uh, on a black mounting board with black panel trunking to provide a really neat and tidy finish. Although the covers and cushions are going to get put back on this and you'll probably never see it again, it's really important to us that it's a really neat, tidy, easy to navigate system. So as you can see, everything's easy to get to. Uh, easy to navigate if you do have an issue on the road. Obviously, as you can see there, all our fuses are in the one neat location and all labelled. So if you do have an issue, you can jump in here, uh, you know where everything is, um, and it makes fault finding much easier than having a big bag of wires sitting under there. So we really do try and get a really neat, tidy finish with all our power systems, um, and that's something that we really try and focus on. All right, so now that we've given you a good look through our 400 amp hour off-grid Dream Lithium power system fitted in this van, we're gonna move on to some of the questions we received uh, on this system in our last video. So probably the main one um, was what sort of runtime can you expect uh, out of your air conditioning? Um, and is it possible to run it? Well, it's definitely possible to run it. We'll actually just grab the remote and we'll flick on our aircon now because it's already starting to warm up in this van. So running your aircon is 100% doable. Um, and with this system, it's designed to run for long periods. So obviously there's a number of factors that have to be considered with runtime. It really depends on uh, what air conditioning unit you've got, what fan speed and temperature you've got it on. Um, that'll depend on its power usage. And then it also depends whether your van's in full sun, semi-sun, because that's going to affect how much solar you've got coming in. So in this van, we've got four 180 watt roof mounted panels, giving us 720 watts in total. Um, and in full sun, this will produce close to 40 amps an hour, purely off solar. So by running this in uh, air conditioner on a low to medium fan speed, 21, 22 degrees, um, if the van's in full sun, the solar's pretty much gonna keep up with what the air conditioner is using. So you won't even be touching your battery power, uh, obviously until the sun goes down. So air conditioning, definitely doable. Um, and in the right conditions, you can run your aircon off this system pretty much all day. So hopefully that answers uh, that question there, guys. Another question that we received is, how long does it take for this system to recharge? Well, once again, there's a variety of different factors to consider. Uh, this system offers three charging inputs. So DC charge from the vehicle, AC charge from mains power and obviously charge via the roof mounted solar panels. So um, off mains power, um, this customer's opted for the 
60 amp hour AC charge upgrade. So he'll be able to pump 60 amps an hour into these batteries while plugged in at home or at the caravan park. Um, that means that in two hours, he's going to replenish uh, over 25%. Um, so that's a really nice quick recharge off mains power. Uh, now, while you're on the road, the benefit of this system is simultaneous vehicle and solar charging. So that means that while you're on the road, you'll be accepting charge in from the vehicle and from solar at the same time. Uh, meaning that obviously you'll be able to push in close to 40 amps an hour purely off the solar plus the 40 amps an hour coming in from your DC charger, meaning 80 amp hours per hour total input. So what does that work out percentage wise? Well, if you hit the road with your 400 amp hour system on 50%, that means that you need to replenish 200 amp hours, um, which when you're putting in 80 amps per hour is just over four hours. So you can go from 50% to fully charged on the road in four hours, which is a, a really good, uh, quick, efficient recharge. There's no point having all this battery storage and then only being able to push 25 amps an hour into it because you're going to be driving around endlessly uh, trying to recharge it um, or having to obviously use a generator or whatnot to charge it. So we try and uh, build all our systems in a way that A, they've got good power storage and B, they've got a balanced matched recharge rate as well. So hopefully that helps answer that question. All right, on to our final popular question, which of course has to be, how long is this system gonna allow you to stay off grid for? Well, once again, that's a little bit of a tricky one because it really depends on a number of different factors. Depends on what sort of conditions you're in, whether it's shaded, clouded, or full sun. And of course, what you're using in the van what you're asking of the system, whether that's running, you know, just 12 volt stuff or whether you're running the aircon and microwave and kettle, toaster, coffee machine, cooktop, all those sort of appliances, because obviously they're the power chewers. So realistically, uh, if you use the system well in a, in a fairly balanced way and, you know, you try and be a little bit conservative with your power, you can pretty much stay off grid with this system permanently. I've got a number of families that are traveling Australia at the moment full time running these systems and we've had a really good feedback with them. So realistically, if you're getting up in the morning, making yourself a bit of brekkie off grid, you know, making a few coffees, warming up some food in the microwave, running a compressor fridge all day, um, lighting water pump, all that sort of standard power usage, the solar pushing in 40 amps an hour during that nice period of sun during the day is gonna comfortably keep up with that. So that means that each time you hit the night, you're gonna be hitting that on 100%, and you've got that 400 amp hours of battery storage to get you through the night. And then once the sun comes back up in the morning, that's going to fully replenish your battery. So, uh, yeah, if you manage the system well, it'll pretty much be a situation where your batteries are going to receive a full recharge every day from your solar. Obviously, if you're in, you know, shady or clouded conditions, that's going to be a different story. Um, you know, but even with no solar input, you know, if you manage your power well, this system can still do you over a week comfortably um, you know, without any solar input. So hopefully that answers that question, guys. Well, that pretty much wraps up this episode, guys. Thanks again for joining us for our first YouTube episode for 2023. We really hope that you enjoyed the build walkthrough of this system, and we hope that we helped answer some of those questions for you as well. If you do have any further questions regarding this 400 amp hour power system, or any of the power systems that we offer, please feel free to get in contact with us anytime uh, via our website and we'll do our best to answer them for you. Thanks again for joining us guys and we look forward to the next episode.